Hey, what's going on? Jeff Blake here. I want to show you some really awesome new features in Creative Suite 3 for getting Illustrator content into Flash. So we'll take a look at a couple of cool things we can do here. I'm going to start off by showing you how to work with fully editable Illustrator files. I mean, full on layers, the whole nine yards, dropping these guys into your Flash movies. It's a new thing that you can do between Illustrator and Flash CS3. And later on in this video, I'll show you a couple of other cool tricks for getting your Illustrator content into Flash. Okay, so I'm here in Illustrator. I've got my design set up. Let me give you a quick tour of this file just so you know how things are set up. I'll start things off over in my Layers panel over on the right-hand side. So, obviously, I have three layers here inside my Illustrator file. I'll turn on and shut off the visibility there so you can see what's what. So, as you can see, I have the text there. I have the little cartoon of myself there as well. That's on the Jeff layer. I've got a junk layer as well. I'll expand this guy and show you what's in there. Just a bunch of junk that was actually not needed for this particular design. That's why his visibility is turned off, by the way. And then lastly, my background layer, that's just the gray square and the border that you see in the background. So that's how I've set things up here. Now, this text at the top here, Coffee's Amazing Impact, as you can see, it's all outlined. However, the text down at the bottom here is fully editable text. Okay, so I'll show you how that's going to play out. Now, before I actually get this Illustrator file into Flash, I want to do a little bit of prep work here in Illustrator. I want to set this file up so everything's going to work properly. This will give me an opportunity to show you some of the cool things that are going to come across from Illustrator into Flash. So, first of all, I'm going to take this text here, Coffee's Amazing Impact, and I want to convert this over to an Illustrator symbol. Now, I have my Symbols palette already open over on the side here. If you need your Symbols palette, it's just available directly from the Window menu. And obviously, I don't have any Symbols saved inside this Illustrator file yet, but I'm going to take this guy and drag him over into the Symbols palette, thus converting him over to an Illustrator symbol. Now, this is new in Illustrator CS3, the ability to set different symbol types. As you can see here, I have graphic and I have movie clip. If you've messed around with Flash already on your own, you know that there's different symbol types that you can use inside your movies. So here in Illustrator, I can decide, do I want to save this as a graphic symbol or or a movie clip symbol. So for this little example, I'm going to set this as a graphic, and it's always a good idea to give your symbols a good name as well. Good enough. Click on OK. There's my symbol over in the palette. The other thing too, check this out on my artboard, is now I have an instance of this symbol. I can tell right up on my control bar, right up at the top here, instance of coffee. So you'll see how the symbols play out when we get this guy into Flash. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to set up my text here down at the bottom of the screen. Now, this is something else that you can do between Illustrator and Flash. Flash has a couple of different types of text as well. It has static text, it has input text, and it has dynamic text, all depending on what you want to do inside your movie, right? So I'm going to take my text selection that I have here in Illustrator, and I want to specify what text type it should be once I get them over inside Flash. To do that, I'm going to use my Flash text panel, which I've opened up already on the right hand side. If you want to grab yours, head to the window menu, look for type, and then choose flash text. You'll be inside there. And as you can see, text by default in Illustrator is set to static text. That is text that's not really going to do anything, right? But I'm going to set mine to dynamic text. I'm going to get a warning here. I'm just going to click OK. Now, some options show up at the bottom of the Flash Text panel. That's fine. I'm just going to leave mine as is. But know that whatever you set inside the Flash Text panel here is going to show up in Flash once you get your Illustrator file over. OK, the last thing that I want to do with this file before I finally get him into Flash is make sure that he's in the RGB color space. CMYK will work, but you may notice some color shifting going on when you actually pull things over. So I would suggest making sure that everything is in RGB in Illustrator first. So to do that, just go to your file menu down to document color mode and look for RGB. There it is. Save everything up. And we're finally ready to get this guy into Flash. So I'm going to flip over to Flash. I already have a file created here that I'm ready to import into. To get my Illustrator file into Flash, I'm just going to go to the File menu, down to Import, and look for Import to Stage. Or if you like your keyboard shortcuts, just hit Control-R on the Windows side or Command-R here on the Mac. Go and find your Illustrator file. Mine's sitting on my desktop. There he is. Import. 
All right, now this is what I wanted to show you. This is what's new in Flash CS3. So you get this massive dialog box. I'm just gonna pull mine up just a little bit here so we can see everything. Okay, this looks like a jumbled mess over on the left-hand side. So you know what I'm gonna suggest? Collapse everything. You know what these guys are? Your layers from Illustrator. There's Jeff, there's Junk, there's Background. The cool thing is, you can expand these guys, and there's all your sub-layers inside your Illustrator file. There, something like that, right? Pretty cool. Now, what I can do with these checkboxes is decide which layers I want to import and which ones I want to leave out. So that junk layer that I wasn't using, I'm going to make sure that he's not checked because he's not needed. Now, let me show you something else. I'm going to highlight one of my layers, and as soon as I do that, I get some extra options over on the right-hand side, so I can control how the layers get imported into my Flash movie. I can import individual layers as bitmaps or as rasterized layers, or I can convert them over to a Flash movie clip symbol, which is kind of cool. Now, check this out. Remember that editable text that I had back in Illustrator? That was inside the Jeff layer, and there he is right there. I'm going to highlight him, and over on the right-hand side, I can bring this guy in as editable text, as vector outlines, or once again, as a rasterized object or as a movie clip symbol. I'm going to make sure mine's set to editable text, and then, of course, I can actually edit the text inside my movie. So as you're importing your Illustrator content, take a second and go through each of your layers and make sure you're bringing them in exactly as you want. There's that coffee symbol layer again from the Illustrator file. And as you can see over on the right here, I could bring him in as a bitmap graphic. Okay, looking good. Down at the bottom, I can decide if I want to bring in Illustrator's layers as flash layers, as keyframes inside my flash file, or I can dump them all onto a single flash layer. I'm going to leave the default here, flash layers. Underneath that, place objects at original position. All that means is drop the objects where they appeared inside the original Illustrator file. Set the stage to the same size as the Illustrator artboard. Bring in any unused symbols that I had inside the Illustrator file or bring in the entire Illustrator layout as a single rasterized image. So definitely experiment with some of these options. Go ahead and click on OK though. All right, and of course my Illustrator file gets dropped onto the stage. Now, let's check a few things out. First of all, take a look at the timeline way up at the top where my layers are contained. There's the two layers from Illustrator. No problems there. And let's take a look at Flash's library panel all the way over on the right hand side. I've got a folder in there named after my original Illustrator file. Double click on that. Illustrator symbols. There is my coffee symbol and I can tell by this icon that it's a graphic symbol. As a matter of fact, I could double click on it. Go into Illustrator's symbol editing mode, make whatever changes I want head back to scene one, and of course I'd see my changes directly on the stage there. So I do in fact have a full-on flash symbol, which was created directly out of Illustrator. Pretty cool stuff. All right, last but not least, my text down at the bottom. Remember, I set him to dynamic text back in Illustrator. Highlight him, down on the property inspector, dynamic text. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so things are looking good here in Flash. Now, really, that's all there is to getting your fully editable Illustrator files into Flash. And one other thing I got to show you, of course, because Illustrator and Flash are both vector graphics tools, the vector objects from Illustrator are still vector objects here in Flash. Zoom in as close as you want. I'm never going to see pixels. Pretty cool. Okay, now a couple of other things. I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of room to work in here. How about copying and pasting from Illustrator into Flash? Well, let's give this a try. I'm gonna head back to Illustrator. I've got a second Illustrator file ready to go here, my Rotten Tomato, and I'm gonna try selecting this guy, copying everything, and then pasting them over